With the holidays, I know there's going to be a lot of new Apple Watch owners that are getting their Apple Watch for the first time. So this video is going to be a quick beginner guide of all the hidden features that everyone must know to get the most out of your Apple Watch. And even if you already know some of this stuff, this video also will have the new innovations, integrations that we got with Watch OS 6. So continue watching because I'm pretty sure you're going to learn a thing or two. Like always, we're going to go ahead and do this as quickly as possible. So Let's start the timer and let's try to do this in 150 seconds or less. To bring up the notification tab or the control center, you don't have to be in the home page. You could be in an application and it works perfectly fine. When pinning your iPhone from the control center, instead of tapping it for the sound, if you hold down on it, it will actually flash the LED. When water lock is enabled, it will actually forcefully eject all the liquid next to the speaker ports. Force touch on the Honeycomb app grid will actually allow you to switch to the list view instead. Having a hard time locating a certain app, you can simply ask Siri to launch it. When starting the workout countdown, if you tap on it, it bypasses it. Double tapping on the workout screen will actually set separate segments of your time. When you press both the crown and the side button, it will actually pause your workout and resume back when you repress it. If you wake up your screen, if you double tap the crown, it will actually take you to the previous open app. App switcher can be launched by tapping the power button. Swipe left to clear some of these background apps. To forcefully shut down an application that's acting funny, hold down the power button, then press and hold the crown button and now that application is forced shut. You can dismiss alarms by simply swiping them down or covering them up with your palm. If you find yourself all the way at the bottom, if you tap the top on any application, it'll take you all the way on top. On nightstand mode, if you tap the charging icon, it'll actually show you the percentage. In the notification tab, if you force touch, you could clear all your notifications. For both airplane mode or do not disturb mode, if you go on your iOS device in the Apple Watch application, on do not disturb mode, you can actually disable it so it doesn't mirror your phone. This way, when either of these are enabled, your phone doesn't get set to those modes. When receiving a bunch of notifications, if you actually put your palm on your screen and hold it there for another 3 seconds, your watch will automatically be set to silent mode. Launching the camera application will automatically launch the application on your iPhone, and you can view the viewfinder right there off your wrist. Using the crown wheel, if you're using an iPhone 11 Pro, you could actually utilize and automatically switch to the ultra wide lens. Force pressing on the camera application gives you four additional options. Back on the iOS application app, if you go into the notification tab, enable notification privacy. Now when a notification comes in, you have to tap on it to view the rest. Rearranging applications is less frustrating whenever you rearrange it using the app layout. Tired of the breathe application always bugging you? In the breathing tab right here, you can actually turn it off permanently. Still here on this page, if you go into the clock tab, you can enable chimes. Now on the hour, the selected sound will play. Think of this like a grandfather clock. Underneath that, if you tap the speak time, when you rest two fingers on the watch face, it will actually tell you out loud the time that it is. 11.22 a.m. And boy, I managed to squeeze out a bonus one. So we got a total of 26 must know hidden features for the Apple Watch. If you guys found this video informative, useful, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you guys really leave this video a like. Not only that, also go ahead and check out other videos like this one, for example, as I pretty much go more in depth on some of these tips and tricks. And then this video over here, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. They say you're going to like it. Go ahead and check it out. But thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.